Shotty out of UC Berkeley actually says now that you can get ahead in the workplace by flirting your way to the top. Is that so, cutie pie? Oh, well done. Didn't see that, that coming. Is that so? Wow, well, didn't what see that coming. What do you mean by that? Because see, she's, cause see, <laughs> cause see what she did there was. Uh, we're going to take it, well, from a couple different perspectives, the male and female points uh, respectively. We are going toe to toe. We do it every day. We invite two experts to help us out. And for the female perspective today, from the hit show on VH1, Why Am I Still Single? Matchmaker Siggy Flick. And then for the male point of view, from the Hughleys, an author of I Want You to Shut the Blank Up, comedian D.L. Hughley. <laughs> We do all do the kissy, wissy yeah. face. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> all right, so the new study says flirting at work can help women get ahead. They did it, but it comes at a price because while it can make women more likable, coworkers don't necessarily trust flirtatious colleagues and see them as less genuine. I can't imagine why. So here we go. D.L. Hughley, okay to get ahead by flirting. Hell yes. <laughs> Actors, uh, you know, and actresses get Oscars and accolades, and flirters get uh, an extra lunch bake, break and a bigger cubicle. So, uh, actually, I mean, I, I think that it's, it's kind of harmless. Don't, I mean, everybody kind of flirts and does whatever. You might as well attach some kind of monetary system to it. Well, the, according to this study, um, you can get ahead, but then the it was revealed that you're considered less trustworthy. Oh, who cares? Who trusts anybody they work with anyway? <laughs> <laughs> you don't go to work for trust. You go to a Christmas party and be laid off the next day. That's what I'm saying. No. Thank you. I love you, but absolutely not. It is inappropriate and it is unprofessional to flirt in the workplace. If you have to flirt in the workplace, that means that you don't have great work ethic. Because if you did, all you have to do, thank you, show up on time, do your job, not expose any cleavage. And if you're flirting, and you're flirting because the guy in the cubicle next to you is cute, and you're saying, I love your tie, as long as he's not married or in a relationship, I have no problem with that. But for to get ahead, you better get ahead uh, based on the right things, and that is because you have great work ethic, not because you're flirting. How many times have you had a... Does it, does it hurt your status in the company, though? If you, if you do it, and it's harmless... It, is, it, is, it is asinine to believe that people don't do this every day. Like, <laughs> people that don't... Li you can listen to her and be in the break room. I'm just telling you. I think that, obviously, people like to be played with. Like, it's the same reason... They like illusions. They like the same reason strip joints do... Well, not, not compare... Well, it kind of works the Whoa. same way. Yeah. <laughs> but I think that people like the idea of, of, of feeling... Uh, handsome or smart or pretty or whatever else and I think that if a woman can accentuate that for a benefit I don't think there's anything wrong with it at all you you met your wife yeah while at work right was there was did, did you was that did arranged or was there well, flirting no, it, it, or well, look look I met her Aww. because uh, she Cute. right we were both powerless so me flirting with her she was like, <laughs> <laughs> you see, I was you flirting with her for a ride home <laughs> 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 yeah. but he was flirting with her reasons right. once again a ride home. if you're trying to get ahead if you're trying to get ahead and you're flirting with the boss nine out of ten times your boss is gonna be married and then you're inviting karma has anybody ever had karma hit their front door because I don't want to be in your living room or your house there is a price to pay with for everything and if you're flirting to get ahead not only are you creating negative en energy amongst your other co-workers because believe it everybody knows what you're doing when you're flirting Wait, let me just tell you one other thing about the study uh, the woman in the study was rated uh, by participants as much more likable the woman right. who flirted oh, absolutely. Um, but but they, but wasn't there was a negative connotation as well but what's with the likable aspect well, of here's it here's the thing i think every flirting is a like a lot of women pretend like they don't know that they're flirting and they are like oh you're so cute <laughs> <laughs> but i think i think it is just uh it, it's warm it's open i think more and you'll see women have a hard time doing that anyway cuz not only do men judge it, but women sit back and go that hooker look at her just, <laughs> so they have they have a hard time anyway but you can i, I think that nothing that you do that that doesn't cross any kind of moral boundary uh that 
accents ways where you work hurts you. I just don't think that's, is, that's the it, case at all. Quickly, Siggy, isn't it also a question of, it's not just the intent, but it's also how it's received. Yes. I mean, people can just be nice, and somebody right. else might say, hey, right. my God, there I'm is, being flirted with. You're absolutely right. There's a fine line that no one wants to cross. To me, innocent flirting is eye contact, smiling, and complimenting. Complimenting is the best form of innocent flirting. Or maybe that's just being nice. Right. That's it, right, but that you could say to your boss or to somebody, I just love your shirt. They could say, thank you, my wife bought it for me, and that's where it ends. Or they could say, thank you so much. Oh my God, I love what you're wearing as well. And it could open up conversation. You don't want to cross the line as being overly aggressive or flirting in order to get ahead. That's a no-no. If somebody's inclined to take what you say, because women, that, that, that's almost an impossible. It's not like somebody's trying to buy you a drink. If you, if you think somebody's attractive and you tell them that, that, that they're attractive, obviously people could take that the wrong way. So almost everything you just said was what I say but, flirting is. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's the exact so you same agree. Thing. This is shocking. I, I actually agree that it is, it is a, a perception. I think that... that Every, the warmer you are, the more kind of friendly you are. Every, it's not a woman in here that doesn't like to be told she's beautiful or exactly. a guy that doesn't like to be told he's smart or handsome. All right, we've asked uh, you. Let's take a look. Uh, you've been logging on, voting on the website. 35% of you say, yeah, it's okay to get ahead by flirting. 65% of you are letting Siggy Flicker run your opinion. Yeah. So that's true. <laughs> that's really no, they agree with Siggy. Yes. And nothing else. Yeah, so you, and really not didn't, you really didn't mean it backstage, DL. That's terrible. No, That's no. It. We're going to have you back anyway. <laughs> right, right, DL right, Hughley, right. Siggy Flicker, everybody. Thank you. Today, she is heating up the small screen in a different way. Tiffany Thiessen is with us. So excited about 